Hey Ben Cox here guys, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna take the chuck off this cordless drill. Alright guys, I've got this Milwaukee M18 drill here. We're gonna take the chuck off today. I have taken the chuck off before and I've had it in for warranty work. Um, this chuck had given out before. Luckily, like I said, it was under warranty. They replaced it, but it's gonna have to be replaced again. So I do have in the description down below an Amazon link for a higher quality half inch chuck. So if you have a half inch drill and your chuck sucks, Check out that Amazon link down there. It's a, it's a good quality. I believe it's a German made. Um, much better than these Chinese ones that they keep sticking on them, even on these Milwaukee's. I expect that out of a Ryobi or something, but not this. <coughs> Anyways, let's get to it. There is a screw down in there, okay? Now I've seen some videos where this is, people are showing you how to take this off. And uh, first of all, I'd like to say I really don't like knocking other people uh, because they took the time to make the video, okay? But they do a couple things, you know, like putting the, 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 the drill in a vise and, you know, putting a, a, you know, a big Allen wrench in there and smack it with a hammer. And maybe, maybe that the chuck was on there like so crazy tight. Um, but I'm going to show you what I consider the preferred method to doing this, okay? So we are in first gear. I want to point that out. You need to be in the lower gear first gear. And you need to see what this is. Okay, I've got a larger straight screwdriver in here, or this Milwaukee M18 could also use a Phillips uh, 3. Okay, now this is a left handed thread screw slash bolt, whatever you want to call it down in here. Okay, so I have the drill in the forward position in low gear, and we're going to use the strength of the drill. Screws loose. Oh, oh, good catch. All right, let me show you. For this particular one, you see, it's slotted for either a straight screwdriver or a Phillips number three. Okay. The screw is normally the easier part. Now, the biggest Allen wrench that I have in my collection is a seven. <coughs> excuse me, a seven millimeter. Okay. Be careful when you put this in here because it's going to fling around and and catch your fingers if you're not careful. Okay, and I always like using the strength of the drill, like I said before. It does have an electric brake, but I just always feel like you're gonna just break it by using that, okay? Someone will probably tell me no, but um, anyways, you know, that's just the way I, I learned to use my drills, okay? Now this here is the hard part. All right, now that's still going forward. I need to change that to reverse. All right, so we're in the reverse direction on the drill. It's going to spin counterclockwise. Okay, and we're going to get it really good supported here because uh, we're going to torque, use a max torque for the drill. If you have a much larger Allen wrench, that makes this easier. Okay, here we go. Oh, you hear that snap? I broke it loose. And there we go, guys. We have a drill and the chuck is loose, okay? Now on a half inch chuck, your standard mounting screw right here, or stud, whatever you want to call that, is gonna be a half by 20, okay? Unfortunately, I've caught in some comments and other information on, on replacing this uh, on the Milwaukee drills because I was looking for a good replacement chuck. And, um, and like I said, that good replacement chuck is in the description down below is that Milwaukee on some of their new fuel models has actually changed that thread size and that half by 20 is a very standard size for half inch chucks okay so if Milwaukee did do that Milwaukee you can suck it okay um, seriously not been super impressed with this one here and if you're gonna go change that so I can't buy a different brand chuck you suck alright but I put it back on we put the drill back in the forward direction be careful not to cross thread it now this part kind of slowly go because it will just catch and then fling it around and slap you. Okay, we're going to get our good grip here again. Okay. And that drill has torqued it down. So we're just going to remove the vice grips carefully. Okay. Take the elements back out. Open it back up. Okay. Now... We're going to drop the screw in, we're going to start it back by hand. Okay, you guys can see that well. Remember, left hand thread, so it's opposite. We're going to do 
See? We're gonna, it's going to go counterclockwise to go in. Okay, and then we're going to blind ourselves with the drill light. Okay, we're going to get our hands in there, hold it down tight. Okay guys, there we go. I showed you how to change out the chug, take one off, put it back on. And I know when the first time I did this, it felt, it felt unnatural. I felt like, what am I doing taking this off the drill? It's not supposed to come off the drill, that's part of the drill. But it does come right off. It comes off just like taking a tire off of a truck, you know. It, it's, it's really meant to be done. And unfortunately, for a lot of these drills, that chug is the weak link, okay? That's like the worst part of it. Uh, please take a minute and check out my website. You can all stand like this. Check out my website, please subscribe to my channel, and I got some extra videos here for you guys to check out later. Thanks again.